It has been a special season for Ohio University women's basketball. 25 wins, a Mid-American Conference regular season title, and this group wants to be the first from Athens to raise a trophy at the MAC tournament since 1986. Finally, it gets started for them in the semifinal round against the Buffalo Bulls on Friday afternoon. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Jake Kermada joins me. We're just outside Quicken Loans Arena in downtown Cleveland. And, Jake, this team has done so much this year, going from nine wins last year to 25 this year. It would be fitting if they raised that trophy for a trip to the NCAA tournament for the first time since the mid-90s. You know, it would be fitting, Russ, because this team won the MAC regular season title. They can do it all. I mean, it's been a magical season for them, so winning this MAC tournament would be special for them. Yeah, they're a pretty complete ball club. If you take a look at the stats and the breakdown, there's not much to quibble with from this team. They've won in a variety of ways, but they're really hot offensively, and they can lock down teams defensively, too. Yeah, you mentioned offensively. They can shoot the three ball so well and so much better from last year. But I will say rebounding at times can be an, a little issue. But as you mentioned, complete ball club all around. Yeah, and the top two in offense and defense in the league. Tops and three-point defense, and that three-point shooting ability is spot on, too. So this team has a lot of the stuff that you need to win a tournament. So Buffalo is the team that they'll face. 19 wins on the season in the ball club that Ohio has beaten twice, once by eight on the road, once by 11 in Athens. Jake, you had the call for those two ball games. What stands out to you in getting ready for this matchup from the two times that you saw Ohio take on Buffalo in the regular season? You know, Buffalo is a physical team. They're bigger than Ohio is. Ohio does have that size issue. But, you know, as you mentioned, Ohio's defense this season has been locked down. I don't know how they do it, but they're incredible at defense. But I will say the player to watch for Buffalo is Kristen Sharkey, MAC Player of the Year candidate. She'll be tough to shut down, but Ohio's done it before, and they can do it again. Yeah, you could say that Ohio's a streaky team, and the streak just hasn't stopped. Uh, streaky teams sometimes have lulls, but Ohio really hasn't had it. It's probably a benefit, too, that Ohio is seeing Buffalo because one of the teams that they lost to in the MAC was Western Michigan in ball game that was up in Kalamazoo. So uh, Ohio seeing Buffalo is probably a good thing as opposed to seeing the Broncos. Not that Ohio couldn't beat WMU, but it's probably a better thing that you see a team that you've beaten twice. Yeah, you've seen a team twice. You already know the game plan coming in. So Bob Bolden and his crew already know, you know, this, this is what's worked for us in the past. This is what hasn't. So third time's a charm. Yeah, hopefully we see a lot of Bobcat fans up here supporting Ohio women's basketball. We're on the air at 11.45 with the tip at noon on WOUBAM at OhioBobcats.com. If Ohio does advance to the championship game on Saturday, we're on at 12.45 with the tip at 1 on Power 105, the flagship station of the Ohio IMG Sports Network. Hopefully two games in Cleveland with a chance to raise that trophy come Saturday afternoon. Should be a lot of fun, Jake, and hopefully a great experience for us and Bobcat women's basketball and fans everywhere. Oh, it'll be great, especially in my hometown of Cleveland, so it, it, looking forward to it. All right, that's our preview supported by Don Wood Toyota. See him on the web at donwoodtoyota.com, 900 East State Street in Athens. It's Ohio women's basketball on the semis and hopefully the championship game of the Mid-American Conference Tournament in downtown Cleveland. For Ryan Cochran and Jake Armada, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.